At dawn on the 14th day, the Great Eastern entered the rugged Newfoundland Bay. The cable was brought ashore at the village of Heart's Content and wired into the North American grid. Cyrus Field sent a short message simultaneously to backers in New York and London. Arrived in Newfoundland nine this morning. All well. Thank God the cable is laid. A few hours later, he sent a personal message to his wife at their home in Gramercy Park. The cable has been hauled ashore and is in perfect working order. Now we shall be a united family again. It was remarkable that he kept going through through all that he managed to endure and I, I do think it was something ahead of its time I think without his commitment at that point it could have taken years longer to, to put into place direct communication between Britain and America has never been broken since that morning in 1866 in a lot of contemporary illustrations you've got the Lion of England the Eagle of the United States joined it helps to cement Anglo-American culture, and it helps to, to create really what you might call uh, the Victorian world, which is united by this cable. The idea that news going from London to New York or other parts of the world eventually, um, this is something we take for granted now, and again, it's hard to imagine how uh, amazing that seemed back then. The idea of the wiring of the world, creating a neighborhood of the whole world, I think what the cable anticipates is that sense of connectedness, everything being connected, which is so common uh, in, in everyday life today. The cable was the great event of Cyrus Field's life. I mean, by the time it was finally finished and successful, he was nearing 50 years of age. And he became very, very rich from it. He was worth around $6 million by 1880, which in those days made you very rich indeed. Um, he then lost much of it in, in Wall Street, but he was still world famous, honored wherever he went. Cyrus Field's 1866 cable carried a thousand messages per month at up to ten dollars a word. By the time Field died in 1892, there were a dozen telegraph cables across the Atlantic. Even today, most communication between America and Europe is still carried by transatlantic cable.